Hey everybody, welcome back to another design video or design tutorial. And today we're gonna be working with uh, gradient animations or gradient transitions in Adobe XD. Now Adobe XD does not support gradient animations and gradient transitions by default but I found a workaround to create smooth gradient animations for backgrounds and cards and basically anything you want. So here I have a background gradient and I have this beautiful text, exactly, um, which is Zants, uh, which has been recreated by Adobe. And uh, it's a beautiful font, X-A-N-T-S. I will link it down in the description if you wanna check it out. Uh, and whenever I click on this artboard, the gradient will smoothly shift to another gradient. Click, click, and see how beautifully the gradients have just merged with one another. Isn't it lovely? So we are gonna exit this, and we're gonna see how to do this. Now, let me create some new artboards. I've already done my work here, but uh, I will be linking down the XD file in the description so you can check it out later on. And just straight up download it and you know use it for your own good. Um, I will be expanding this artboard. Yep, yeah, okay. So just for show, I'm expanding this artboard. First of all, we will create a rectangle which will cover the entire viewport area. Now that is perfect. Now we will uh, remove the border and I will, I've already saved all the gradients that I've used in this video. Uh, this is the first gradient. We will just copy this rectangle just below this. This is the second gradient. I'm just gonna rotate it because apparently it's not, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the gradient colors are not straight. Yeah, okay, now see how smooth it is? Now we will uh, copy this again, just below this. Oops, sorry. Uh, just below this, yes. Um, somehow I can just not take a perfect take, you know? <laughs> okay, another gradient switch. Let me just edit this a little bit, bring this down a little bit so that it merges even better. Perfect. And another rectangle at the end which will be our fourth gradient and also our most beautiful, uh, most vibrant gradient here. Um, I'm just gonna expand this artboard a little more so that it fits in this space. Um, and I'm gonna copy this font because I am too lazy to create a new text box and then add the font and everything, change the font and stuff. I, I, I'm too lazy for that. So now that I've copied this, let me just shift this artboard a little down. Ah, yep, yep, now it's away from my original work. So this is our first artboard, perfect. Now we will copy this artboard, uh, or what we can do, is even shorter version, is to uh, duplicate this artboard and say Command-D or Control-D on Windows. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So we have now done it thrice, which is what we wanted. So we have four. And um, in the second one, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select all these rectangles and just shift these rectangles a little bit to the top. Yep, just smoother, smoothly just drag it and voila. Okay. Similarly with the third one, we will select all of this. And rather than selecting all of this, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna delete this, you know. Makes it even better if we just duplicate the second one. Yep, perfect. Sometimes the advice I give the first time isn't the best advice, so you have to be patient for my second advice. <laughs> so I'm gonna duplicate this one, and I'm gonna do the same with the third one. I'm just gonna smoothly take it up. Perfect, this is exactly what we want. So you can see it almost in action here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna decrease the size of the artboard to exactly what I want it to be. 
which is 1920 by uh, 1920 by 1080 here and perfect the size of the artboard will not affect the animation whatsoever so you don't have to worry <coughs> I'm a sore throat I don't know why okay perfect uh, same with the first one same with all of them yep okay so hopefully this should work if it doesn't well I don't know it's not my fault man it's Adobe XD's fault okay and we haven't prototyped it yet what am I doing okay <laughs> so um, I'll go to prototype mode and I will bring it to the next uh, on tap it should auto animate it's already set to this and I've used snap it's snappier exactly uh, and I will select the second artboard and do the same so Adobe XD does the needful by just copying over my presets to all of these now I'll select the first one going to the preview and voila we have a smooth gradient transition here uh, now I will be linking down in the description my original work which was also much more refined and better looking but fine you know uh, it doesn't really matter um, it depends on how you perceive it so this was another design tutorial from my end if you want to see more cool stuff keep liking my videos keep subscribing because subscribing goes a long way and it also helps me keep making more videos um, so I would suggest go get some good night's sleep because I'm gonna get some good night's sleep and uh, I will see you in the next one stay beautiful <laughs> and stay blessed peace